Norsezi Durban Rube is going to university. Why that's remarkable is that she's the first young woman to do so from Kenya's Shona community. Numbering around 3,500, they are stateless. Without nationality, they struggle to access basic services. It's like you are a ghost in the country that you are in, you don't exist. According to the UN's refugee agency, an estimated 18,500 stateless people live in Kenya, of which the Shona are the second largest group. They arrived from the former Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, in the 1960s, but according to a UNHCR spokeswoman, most were unaware of a two-year window to get citizenship after Kenya gained independence in 1963. Their children and grandchildren, unable to prove their parents' identities, have also been unable to get citizenship, meaning hundreds of children miss out on a state education even though they were born in Kenya. Nosizi's mother, Angeline Rurumai Mutenda, was not educated, but her children were not going to miss out. I resolved that Nosizi must get an education. Though she had no birth certificate for Nosizi, Angeline managed to get an antenatal clinic card. She used that to convince a primary school to enroll her daughter. After good exam results, Angeline got Nosizi to high school the same way and she raised the money for education by weaving baskets. She's really a person who wants, if she wants to do something, nothing can stop her. The hard work paid off. Nosizi qualified and was admitted to the University of Nairobi to study economics. With the assistance of the UNHCR, the university made an exception and she was allowed to register without an identity card. Nosizi says she hopes one day to be legally recognised as a citizen. And there is hope for the Shona. In 2019, the Kenyan government issued Shona children with birth certificates, a vital step towards ending statelessness.